guys and welcome back to my channel. I love fall. It is my absolute favorite season. Everything from like the warm drinks to the Saturday night football. It is just the best time. The only thing I don't like is how it is slowly getting darker a little bit earlier each night. That being said, I still have a list of certain things that I do not buy that are typically bought in the fall season. If you yourself have things that you specifically do not buy in the fall, make sure to leave them down below in the comments. I would love to see everything you guys have to say. And if you like these kind of things I don't buy during the season's videos, give this one a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, make sure to click that little subscription button down below to be updated each time I upload a video. But without any further ado, here are my list of things I do not buy fall edition. Number one is a Halloween costume. For some reason, I just cannot fathom the idea of going out and spending all this money on pieces for an outfit I'm going to wear one night. Don't we ladies have wedding dresses and wedding days for that purpose? For me these days, I am more into just putting on a nice cozy sweater with some jeans and boots and just passing out candy to all the kids that come by and trick or treat. And if I do go to like an adult costume party or adult Halloween party, I will just borrow from friends and like do a little bit more elaborate makeup and just go. I just can't imagine spending all of this money for these elaborate costumes that I see people wear. And they're in their own right to do it, it's just not for me. Number two is outdoor festive decor. I think that the colorful changing leaves outside are enough decor for me. The only thing I think I would buy would be like a little pumpkin to go outside my door, but I actually have neighbors that have gone all out and there are little ghosts out there and on a pumpkin trail. It's really cute. I think they have kids. But for me, I just don't see the point because again, it's going to get cold. They're going to get damaged. And again, I'm only going to need it for a few months. And again, the leaves changing, perfect decor provided by nature. Number three on my list are sweaters and boots. And the reason I don't need to buy them now is because I went and bought them back in April and May when a lot of people were selling their winter attire and stores were putting theirs on sale to make room for the spring and summer clothing line. So I went out and I bought a few pairs of dark wash jeans, some sweaters that were on sale. Whether they were secondhand or I bought at the store, I got a lot of my fall wear last spring because there was just such a discount on it. I didn't mind boxing it and storing it in this closet and now they are out in my closet. Number four is sporting events. Now I love me some football and occasionally I like to see some hockey and basketball. And side note, I live about two miles from the Ohio State Buckeyes, number six in the country right now. Don't mess it up. But even with my love for sports, I refuse to shell out these outrageous prices to go see the games live in the stadium. Instead, I'll get together with some friends and we will watch the game in the comfort of one of our homes. If I'm really feeling you know, motivated to go to a game or be present outside, tailgating will probably happen, but I'm more than likely to either go to my home or a friend's home to actually watch the game. Maybe it's because I'm older, but I've noticed that people pay these ridiculous prices to stand in lines and crowds, be in the same vicinity as drunk college students, and be in constant danger that someone's going to spill beer on them. I trade in watching the game at my house under a warm blanket with a glass of cider any day. Side note, leave me your favorite sports teams down below in the comments. Any sports, favorite teams, go. And number five are haunted houses. Just like going to sporting events, I could list off to you the various reasons why I will not pay to go to a haunted house and be scared and uncomfortable for an hour. That might make me an introvert, but if I want to be scared for an hour, I will make Christopher put on a scary like horror movie for the evening. I don't know, it just creeps me out. The idea of walking into a haunted house and being chased around by people with chainsaws, mm -mm. Mm -mm. introvert at heart. Anyway, those are the list of things I do not buy fall edition. And once again, I would love to see what you guys personally do not put on your spending lists during this time of the year. Leave them down below in the comment section. If you like these kind of videos, give this one a thumbs up. And if you are new here, make sure to click that red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a video to this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.